you guys could have done better? Um, I don't think you could have done better. I think all round, really. Um, potting, bowling. Um, oh, credit to New Zealand, I thought they bowled very well. Um, I think one positive for us is Gabby Lewis. Um, she'll probably be the first one to admit um, she hasn't had the best tournament up to this game, but I think tonight showed that um, just a, a glimpse of what she can do, and she's a, a huge player for us. Um, so I think that's a massive positive for us. Um, but again, just I suppose batting. Again, we, ha we were happy enough with the power play, and um, I suppose similar enough to previous, previous games, um, whereby once the power play was over, we kind of lost clusters of wickets a bit again. Um, and then with our bowling, Look, I think the way Susie Bates and Sophie Devine batted today, I think anyone would would have found it hard to bowl to them. Um, yeah, we probably didn't bowl our best, um, but when two batters come out like that, I think they're just trying to get the runs as quickly as they can, of course. But um, yeah, look, we probably didn't bowl great either. In the tournament, you've placed with a tough group, but what are some of the positives that Ireland could take from this this experience? Um, I think we can take so much from a World Cup, to be honest. Like. Um, we don't play a lot of internationals as it is, and um, so anytime we do play internationals, I think there's always um, learnings to be had, and, and I think we have um, learned a lot. I think uh, some of the younger girls have actually stepped up quite well, and obviously we've got um, four retirees, four people retiring this evening, um, and so the younger the younger girls are going to have to step up, and I think they have done that at times during the World Cup, which is. Um, obviously a positive for us um, so yeah look I suppose when results really haven't gone your way it can be hard to to pick out positives but I think um, you know there is a lot there is some positives that we can take the decision of the Joyce sisters uh, did you know about it beforehand uh, no we didn't so the reaction uh, uh, yeah look, there's a definitely a lot of tears um, you know seal uh, Kira Shills and Isabel have been four incredible servants of, of Irish cricket and I don't think um, Irish women's cricket would be anywhere near where it is today without them and um, so they're going to be a huge loss both on and off the field they're absolute you know champions on the field but champions off the field as well and uh, yeah look we're gonna we're gonna miss them a lot and um, um, yeah I think it's also as it is extremely sad that they're retiring and um, and it's going to be like a different dynamic without them. Um, you know, it's, it's um, yeah, it's it's going to be they're yeah, definitely exactly uh, after the game in the huddle. Can you share some of your favorite memories with them? Me um, memories that we may not not have seen. Isabel Joyce was my first roomie. Um, so I remember it was the 2010 World Cup uh, football World Cup. And I was football mad growing up, and she was my roomie. And I remember, like, I was a bit scared of them in the team, to be honest. Um, and I remember we were sat watching the football, and I was like, she was just naming all the players, and I was like, oh my god, how does she know so many players? And I think from then on, we, like, I just knew that I was going to be friends with her. And of course, like, I'm obviously going to be friends with her, but I think that um, kind of stood out for me and is. Um, I play club cricket with Kira and Schillers, um, so I'll be quite close. To, I'm, look, I'm close to all the girls. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, we've had a lot of fantastic times together. Um, and as I said, they're going to be a uh, huge loss. So a lot of the younger girls talk about the seniors as you know, almost like their mother or their aunt. Um, can you talk about how the setup is almost like a family to you? Yeah, I think. Uh, to start, all the girls are from Dublin, um, so we all train together all the time. Um, so, yeah, look, the setup in Irish cricket basically everyone kind of knows everyone, um, and yeah, the girls have been uh, mentors to all of us um, younger ones. And it's not like we just see them in an Irish jersey; we see them day in day out. We play against them at club, we play against them in our domestic competition. Uh, you know, we see them all the time. They're always there for us whenever we need them. Um, so yeah, it really is like a, a kind of family situation. And even from the other teams, you seem to get a lot of respect from a lot of the other teams. Um, a lot of people coming up and praising your games. Um, what does it mean to you that someone like Alisa Healy may offer her support to you guys? Uh, it's it's it means a lot to us. It really does. Um, 
you know, it's nice to know that everyone's behind us and, you know, people are acknowledging that we're in a, a difficult situation and that we are amateur. Um, you know, we don't want to use it as an excuse, but at the same time, like, at the moment, we've no international fixtures um, lined up for us. Um, and as well, like, girls, just, if they work nine to five and then they have to come to training, tired, obviously, um, and look, it's, it's, we're always up against it, playing against these teams who are trained full time together. Um, but yeah, as I said, it is it was fantastic to get, especially um, during the week, such support from uh, other international cricketers.